the tremendous power of suggestion. You must realize by now that your conscious mind is the watchman at the gate, and its chief function is to protect your subconscious mind from false impressions. You are now aware of one of the basic laws of mind. Your subconscious mind is amenable to suggestion. As you know, your subconscious mind does not make comparisons or contrasts. Neither does it reason and think things out for itself. This latter function belongs to your conscious mind. It simply reacts to the impressions given to it by your conscious mind. It does not show a preference for one course of action over another. The following is a classic example of the tremendous power of suggestion. Suppose you approach a timid looking passenger on board ship and say to him something like this, you look very ill. How pale you are. I feel certain you are going to be seasick. Let me help you to your cabin. The passenger turns pale. Your suggestion of seasickness associates itself with his own fears and forebodings. He accepts your aid down to the bird and there your negative suggestion, which was accepted by him, is realized. 29. Different reactions to the same suggestion. It is true that different people can react in different ways to the same suggestion because of their subconscious conditioning or belief. For example, if you go to a sailor on the ship and say to him, Sympathetically, my dear fellow, you're looking very ill, aren't you? Feeling sick, you look to me as if you were going to be seasick. According to his temperament, he either laughs at your joke or expresses a mild irritation. Your suggestion fell on deaf ears in this instance because your suggestion of seasickness was associated in his mind with his own immunity from it. Therefore, it called up not fear or worry, but self-confidence. The dictionary says that a suggestion is the act or instance of putting something into one's mind. The mental process by which the thought or idea suggested is entertained, accepted, or put into effect. You must remember that a suggestion cannot impose something on the subconscious mind against the will of the conscious mind. In other words, your conscious mind has the power to reject the suggestion given. In the case of the sailor, he had no fear of seasickness. He had convinced himself of his immunity, and the negative suggestion had absolutely no power to evoke fear. The suggestion of seasickness to the other passenger called forth his indwelling fear of seasickness. Each of us has his own inner fears, beliefs, opinions, and these inner assumptions rule and govern our lives. A suggestion has no power in and of itself except if you accept it mentally. This causes your subconscious powers to flow in a limited and restricted way according to the nature of the suggestion. How he lost his arm. Every two or three years I give a series of lectures at the London Truth Forum in Caxton Hall. This is a forum I founded a number of years ago. Dr. Evel and Fleet, the director, told me about an article which appeared in the English newspapers dealing with the power of 30. Suggestion. This is the suggestion a man gave to his subconscious mind over a period of about two years, I would give my right arm to see my daughter cured. It appeared that his daughter had a crippling form of arthritis together with a so-called incurable form of skin disease. Medical treatment had failed to alleviate the condition, on. The father had an intense longing for his daughter's healing, aunt expressed his desire in the words just quoted. Dr. Evel and Fleet said that the newspaper article pointed out that one day the family was out riding when their car collided with another. The father's right arm was torn off at the shoulder, and immediately, the doctor's arthritis and skin condition vanished. You must make certain to give your subconscious only suggestions which heal, bless, elevate, and inspire you in all your ways. Remember that your subconscious mind cannot take a joke. It takes you at your word.
How Auto-Suggestion Banishes Fear Illustrations of Auto-Suggestion Auto-Suggestion means suggesting something definite and specific to oneself. Herbert Parkin, and his excellent manual of auto-suggestion, records the following incident. It has its amusing side, so that one remembers it. A New York visitor in Chicago looks at his watch, which is set an hour ahead of Chicago time, and tells a Chicago friend that it is 12 o'clock. The Chicago friend, not considering the difference in time between Chicago and New York, tells the New Yorker that he is hungry and that he must go to lunch. Auto-suggestion may be used to banish various fears and other negative conditions. A young singer was invited to give an audition. She had been looking forward for the interview, but on three previous occasions she had failed miserably due to fear of failure. This young lady had a very good voice, but she had been saying to herself, when the time comes for me to sing, maybe they won't like me. I will try. But I'm full of fear and anxiety, 